Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 13th of 2023 well, it is titled NGC 2419 Intergalactic Wanderer. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a globular cluster and it's known by its catalog designation of NGC 2419. And we can see a good number of stars here, generally 100,000 stars or so in a typical globular cluster. And it is interesting and we call this an intergalactic wanderer because while it is now associated with our Milky Way looking at its motions we see it kind of shows that it was not originally part of our Milky Way and in fact it looks like it was part of the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy which is one of the satellite galaxies of our Milky Way. So it was previously orbiting that now the Sagittarius dwarf galaxy is being disrupted as it comes close to the Milky Way and eventually will be torn apart and become part of the Milky Way itself. And its globular clusters are therefore also being incorporated into the Milky Way. So galaxies grow over time through collisions like this. They become larger galaxies that we see today. And here we see one of the remnants of that type of collision where a globular cluster now associated with the Milky Way that previously was associated with another galaxy. Now globular clusters themselves are among the oldest parts of our galaxy or any galaxy. They tend to be extremely old and are made up of a population of very uh, old stars. Stars like our sun have already evolved in many globular clusters and are no longer here. It is stars even less massive than the sun that have evolved to become red supergiants which will dominate the light of a globular cluster. So stars a little less massive than our sun have swollen in size to many times what they used to be and their light is what we often see within these. We can map out the ages by plotting the types of stars that are seen uh, on a, what we call an HR diagram and observing where they leave the main sequence. The main sequence is the pattern of stars that we see for stellar lifetimes when a star is is burning hydrogen in its core during the majority of its life it will lie on the main sequence when the stars leave that they change their temperature and luminosity enough to leave what we call the main sequence then they become red giants or even red super giants and that's often what we see here and by looking at where those leave the main sequence we can interpret and determine ages of clusters such as the intergalactic wanderer here so that was our picture of the day for April 13th of 2023. It was titled NGC 2419 Intergalactic Wanderer. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.